Okay, serious question, yeah? Why is she a cat? Since when were there actual fairies in this game? Please explain to me. Okay, people, welcome back. Today, I want to build. Let's get into it. I'm not going to lie, I pretty much don't have any gameplay for her, so we're not going to show any gameplay for her. My build isn't the greatest, that's why I didn't do any gameplay for her, because I haven't invested in her, okay? But she can be decent. I still have used her on an actual team uh, for quite a while, as you can see. She's friendship level 7, so, you know, I have used her and she is viable. And that's why I'm, I'm not going to really bother showing you my build, because my I haven't built her, like I said. But I have used her with different artifact sets and stuff, so I can actually speak for her and she does do decent. I'm gonna get straight into the build and the options starting with the weapons okay so her best in slots are actually two fat uh, two four stars okay her best in slots are these two the sacri the favonius wall bow and the sacrificial bow both of them give you energy recharge one sacrifices base attack for higher energy recharge while the other sacrifices energy recharge for higher base attack the one that you run is pretty much dependent on which build that you want because of their passives so favonius bow generates particles whenever you get a crit hit just like all the other favonius weapons and sacrificial bow has a chance of resetting the cooldown whenever you use your elemental skill just like all the other sacrificial weapons if you want to build a shield build use sacrificial if you want to use a burst healing build use favonius and if you want to use a overall neutral build it's really a toss up depending it just depends on which one you have which one you have more refinements for which one you have leveled up already and whatever so either of them are good for the neutral build as for artifacts there are three builds like i said there's the overall neutral build where it's not too much on one thing and too much on the other it's very balanced and then we have the shield build and then we have the healing build those are the orders i'm going to do it in timestamps in description if you want to skip to a certain part so we're going to start off with the neutral balance build right for that we are going to go with a full piece noblesse oblige simply because the two piece increases the elemental burst damage by 20 percent and then the four piece gives you an attack boost whenever you use your burst for all your party members as for the stats obviously hp and attack but you want HP on your sands, HP on your goblet, and then healing bonus on your headpiece. Because that way, you can increase your healing from the headpiece. And then the HP, both the HP sands and the HP goblet are going to give you better shield strength. And again, increase the healing because the shield strength and the healing is based off of her HP. So that's why it is the overall build. However, if you want to make a shield build, then we are going to go with a four piece of the tenacity men lift. If this is a bit techy, so just hear me out, okay? The two piece increases the HP by 20%. Again, her shield strength is based on of HP. And the four piece makes it so whenever you use your elemental skill, attack is increased for all of your party members by 20% and the shield strength is increased by 30%. Again, like I said with this, you want to be using the sacrificial bow so that you can cool down on your elemental skill and then when your shield does run out, you don't need to wait any time. You can get the shield back up using an elemental skill because it's cooled down. And as for the stats that you want on the tenacity set with the shield build, you just want HP all across the board. You want a HP sans, HP goblet, and a HP circlet. All HP so that you can get the shield strength as high as possible. And then last but not least, we have the healing build that being run on a maiden's beloved four piece two piece gives you effective healing by 15 percent and whenever you use your elemental skill or burst it increases the healing for all party members by 20 percent i personally don't like using maiden's beloved which is why i have about six of them in total but if that's what you want then there you go and then as for the stats you want just like how we did with the overall build you want hp on the sands hp on the goblet and then healing bonus on the circlet and it's that simple really as for constellations not necessary but they are good c1 makes it so you get 15 energy after using her burst so basically her burst needs less energy d2 makes it so you get an increase in damage and an increase in your shield whenever you use your elemental skill c3 and c5 obviously increase the talents c4 makes it so whenever you use a charge shot inside of her burst the charge shot timing is reduced by 60 percent which is actually a lot honestly it's just that's for main dps die owner who the hell uses that if you do you're crazy you're actually nuts you need to get checked out and c6 is actually kind of decent it increases incoming healing by 30 percent and elemental mastery by 200 percent whenever one of your party members is inside of your burst and is above 50% health. 
so not too bad not too bad talents depending on which build you go for is what will decide which one you want to focus on if you want a shield build focus on elemental skill first if you want a healing build focus on the elemental burst first and if you want a overall just balance build i would still say go elemental skill and then elemental burst because i think the shield has more potential than the healing since if you have your shield up then you don't really need to get healed right so yeah that is how i would say you go about it and that's about the build pretty much hopefully i didn't miss anything out and she can also be used as a very good battery for example having a ganyu an ayakar and a demna in the party so that you can use her elemental skill boom and then get the party calls for your main dps so could be decent like that that's how i actually use her most of the time and she does decent and i actually usually run her shield build more than anything if for whatever reason i don't have zhongli in the team which is pretty much never to be totally honest but that is it hopefully that was enough like i said i haven't really built her so i can't really showcase too much but i've done jinyan now i've done diona next one is Sayu, and she's gonna be a little techie for me to do but with that being said i need to go do some research on her and see, figure out how to build her properly anyways if you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up turn on the subscribe button we are near to 200 subscribers i didn't even realize i was on like 180 like last week so nearly 200 subscribers hopefully by the time next week rolls around and ball finally comes out i can actually have hit 200 and with that being said i will definitely be doing stupid amounts of pulls for ball so get ready for that so subscribe turn the bell on notifications stay tuned for that and until the next video guys i'll see you later take care peace